This is the T500 smartwatch. I've been using it for some days now and I've been able to test the reliability of this smartwatch. Sliding the box open, you are greeted with the smartwatch at the center and the two rubber or silicone straps at the sides, separated by a soft foam. The silicone band straps are detachable which means you can easily change it to your favorite design and color later, but I'm satisfied with this pinkish color. I'm in love with the rose gold color and it's no doubt that the design of this smartwatch was actually inspired by the Apple Watch Series 5 which is not surprising because it is fun to always use Apple-like products. Underneath are the micro USB cable attached to a magnetic charging dock which looks cool. And finally, the user manual which you should read so that you can know the full control functions. That's all we have in the box. Removing the sticker, you see the edge-to-edge -edge display protection but the display size is 1.54 inches and screen resolution is 240 by 240 square shape. Although the bezels are quite bigger than what we have on the box but this is a generic smartwatch and so I don't expect any premium display quality but the color and contrast is actually good. You can also adjust the brightness level which is high enough for easy visibility under sunlight when walking out. The touch response is also good. It supports multiple languages and it has Bluetooth 4.0 which means the range is about 5 meters which is manageable. The shiny and glossy frame is actually made from aluminum alloy which gives it a premium look and feel. Fixing the flexible silicone straps is very easy with just sliding carefully through the right slot and same thing for the left slot. I love how it properly fits my big wrist. The overall weight is just 50 grams which is lightweight. At the back are the charging pins and the well designed sensor compartment with some specs inscriptions around it. To the right is the power or home button with a regist label that adds beauty to it. It has a microphone to the side and this is a dummy cutout which is just there for fancy. At the left side is just the cutout for the speaker. According to official specifications, it has IP67 rating which means it is waterproof. You need to install the iWatch app which provides more information and control over the smartwatch. It is preferable to spear through the iWatch app because it is faster, easier and you are done in just few seconds. Reconnection is also automatic and fast. You can also find your lost watch with the iWatch app and in return, find your smartphone with the watch which is pretty standard but still cool. The iWatch app gives you access to choose which phone apps receives notifications through the watch and it supports all apps. It is prompt and accurate when displaying notifications and I like how well it displays them for easy reading and understanding. One cool thing I noticed is that you can choose to open the notifications in the smartphone apps through the smartwatch which is efficient and amazing. Depending on your mood or time of the day, I love how you can easily switch between watch faces instantly without going through any extra steps that may discourage you. The iWatch app has some more cool watch faces which allows you to choose between a pointer dial and a digital dial watch face. It is easy to apply them and it just takes about 30 seconds to synchronize with the smartwatch. It also allows you to use or apply a custom watch face from your photos or gallery which is so cool. But this digital dial takes about 80 seconds to synchronize with the smartwatch and I'm sure many of you will love this feature. Tapping on the watch face takes you to the default Apple Watch style launcher which gives a wider reach of apps at a glance. But you can always change it to any of this launcher or styles which has larger icons for easy visibility. Swiping down shows you the notification panel and swiping up takes you to the quick control panel which gives you access to the Bluetooth setting, flashlight, smartphone finder, calculator, alarm and main menu launcher styles. The smartwatch settings app has some interesting functions like Bluetooth controls, volume controls, sound alert types and race to wake LCD which works accurately according to my test with good sensitivity level that helps to save battery life. There's also a remote shutter app for taking photos with the smartwatch through the iWatch app and it is so cool to see the live camera footage in the smartwatch display which helps or guides you to take better images. The Bluetooth music app works fine as you can easily control the volume, play, pause and skip tracks but it only plays the sound through the tiny smartwatch speaker which is surprisingly audible but with low volume as expected. Here's a sample. It was done this way in order to fulfill the goal of replacing your smartphone as much as possible. The smartwatch also supports Bluetooth command function which allows you to access your phone call logs, contacts or phone book, phone messages and make or receive calls through the smartwatch. Apart from making calls through the phone book on call logs, 
You can also dial a number in the smartwatch and the microphone and speaker provides a good call quality but the speaker sound is only loud and clear enough at up to 2 feet away from your ears. The steps and calorie counter gives you accurate readings but the heart rate and blood pressure monitors are a little off in its calculations and I don't advise you to rely on these readings. There is a motion record hub that shows information about your activity for the day and allows you to set your data and goals. There are up to 11 spots in event tracking which makes the smartwatch very flexible and it easily gives accurate calorie readings based on your particular spotting exercise. The iWatch app only keeps records of your steps, sleep, heart rate and blood pressure data. The battery capacity is 180 mAh and from my experience, the battery life with Bluetooth connection is about 6 to 8 hours depending on your activity. But if you are just checking the time and steps counter without Bluetooth connection, it can last you up to a day. Standby time is 3 days. Only the two tiny pins in the charging dock is magnetic and so you need to always charge facing down with the charging dock placed on the surface for easier setting. There should have been a form of placement guide but I would say I got the placement right 8 out of 10 trials. The charging time is about 1 hour. There are other cool functions like the sedentary alert mode, the sleep tracker, alarm clock, stopwatch and sound recorder which only performed one record due to low memory. A friend of mine actually sponsored this video and you can get this smartwatch for about 16,000 naira from him. Kindly call or text these numbers if you are interested. Thanks a lot guys for the support. Kindly subscribe and turn post notifications on for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Remain humble and stay safe. Bye.